AI infrastructure is going to be one of the most important inputs to the future. We need artificial intelligence to help us explore the universe. It's not about replacing the human in the loop. In fact, it's about empowering the human. This week's AI news cycle has been jam-packed with mind-blowing revelations, captivating developments, and tantalizing debates. Whether it's the unveiling of revolutionary new AI technologies, the launch of innovative AI-driven initiatives, or the impassioned discussions about AI's role in society, the AI world has once again proven to be a hotbed of excitement and intrigue. Here are the seven biggest AI news of the week. That's the power, and I know it's not as satisfying as saying, here's each thing it will do. Number one, Microsoft unveils Phi 3. Microsoft has unveiled the Phi 3 family, a collection of open, small language models, SLMs, praised for their efficiency and affordability. Developed through innovative training methods, these models surpass larger counterparts in language, coding, and math tasks. Sonali Yadav, Principal Product Manager for Generative AI at Microsoft, envisions a future where customers can choose from a range of models tailored to their needs. The first member, Phi 3 Mini with 3.8 billion parameters, is now accessible through various platforms like Azure AI Model Catalog and Hugging Face. Despite its compact size, Phi 3 Mini outperforms models twice its size. Additional models like Phi 3 Small, 7B parameters, and Phi 3 Medium, 14B parameters, are on the horizon. Luis Vargas, Microsoft VP of AI, highlights the versatility of these models, catering to diverse customer requirements. SLMs offer the advantage of on-device deployment for quick AI experiences without internet connectivity. Potential applications range from smart sensors to farming equipment, promising privacy by keeping data on the device. While large language models excel at complex tasks, SLMs offer a viable option for simpler tasks like query answering and summarization. Microsoft's approach focuses on curated data and specialized training, reducing computational costs while maintaining performance and reasoning abilities. Inspired by bedtime storybooks, Microsoft's innovative data filtering and generation approach led to the creation of high-quality data sets like Tiny Stories and Code Textbook. The team meticulously curated synthetic data, emphasizing quality over quantity to enhance model performance. Number two, DHS launches an AI safety board that omits Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk. On April 29th, the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, DHS, unveiled its new Artificial Intelligence Safety and Security Board. This board aims to ensure that AI is used safely and securely across critical U.S. infrastructure. Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas announced the establishment of the board following President Biden's executive order last October. The order emphasized the importance of safe and trustworthy AI development and usage. The board's main job is to guide critical infrastructure stakeholders, such as pipeline operators and internet service providers, on using AI responsibly. Mayorkas stressed the dual nature of AI, acknowledging its potential to benefit the nation while also posing risks. He emphasized the need for adopting best practices to mitigate these risks effectively. According to the DHS, the board will help the department anticipate and counter threats from hostile nation states, particularly through AI-assisted cyber attacks. In its 2024 threat assessment, the DHS highlighted the potential for countries like China, Russia, and Iran to exploit AI in targeting U.S. economic security and critical infrastructure. The board's composition includes influential figures from big tech, but notable absences, such as Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk, raise questions about the government's stance on open source AI. Mayorkas clarified that social media companies were intentionally excluded from the board. This decision sparks speculation about the influence of their platforms or their open source AI approach. The ongoing debate over open source AI models persists, with some accusing companies like OpenAI of fear-mongering to maintain control over their proprietary models. While some companies advocate for open source AI, others like Meta and XAI have released their models as open weights, challenging the dominance of closed models. Number three, Synthesia's AI video avatars now feature emotions. Generative AI, which produces detailed text and images from mere prompts, has captivated the public's imagination. Yet, upon closer inspection, imperfections often emerge, like odd fingers, shifting floor tiles, or inaccuracies in math problems. Synthesia specializes in video creation, specially tailored avatars for businesses to produce diverse content such as promotions and training videos. Their latest update introduces avatars based on real humans, 
boasting enhanced emotional expression, precise lip syncing, and more lifelike movements when generating videos from text inputs. Unlike competitors such as OpenAI, which targets both consumers and businesses, Synthesia focuses solely on perfecting human-like avatars for enterprise applications, like training and marketing, just like Perplexity's emphasis on refining AI search. This strategy has helped Synthesia carve a niche in a crowded AI market, where sustained value matters more than initial hype. Their new expressive avatars, generated entirely by AI, utilize large pre-trained models to mimic human speech patterns and gestures, providing a more authentic experience. Also, traditional avatar-based video tools stitch together pre-recorded clips, but Synthesia's avatars generate responses dynamically, aiming for a less robotic and more natural appearance. Before this update, over 200,000 users across 130 languages had created over 18 million videos using Synthesia's legacy avatars, highlighting the platform's widespread adoption and utility. Number four, NVIDIA acquires Run AI for $700 million. NVIDIA, known for its AI hardware, is acquiring Run AI, a Tel Aviv-based company. Run AI simplifies managing and optimizing AI hardware infrastructure for developers and operations teams. Although the deal's specifics remain undisclosed, insider sources indicate it's valued at $700 million. Previously, rumors hinted at a possible $1 billion acquisition, but negotiations concluded smoothly, possibly with a price adjustment. NVIDIA plans to maintain Run AI's product offerings and enhance its roadmap. This integration aims to bolster NVIDIA's DGX Cloud AI platform, empowering enterprise customers with enhanced compute infrastructure and software for AI model training, especially in generative AI scenarios across multiple data center sites. Run AI's roots trace back to its co-founders, Geller and Dar, who conceptualized the platform during their studies at Tel Aviv University under Professor Meyer Feder's guidance. Their vision was to create a platform capable of distributing AI models across various hardware setups, whether on-premises, in public clouds, or at the edge. While Run AI faces limited direct competition, the concept of dynamic hardware allocation for AI workloads is gaining traction. Grid.ai, for instance, offers similar software for parallel AI model training across GPUs and processors. Despite being relatively young, Run AI amassed a significant Fortune 500 customer base, attracting substantial venture capital investments, totaling $118 million before the acquisition. This acquisition marks one of NVIDIA's most significant moves since acquiring Mellanox for $6.9 billion in 2019, signaling its commitment to strengthening its position in the AI infrastructure market. Number five, OpenAI faces complaint over fictional outputs. European advocacy group NOIB has lodged a complaint against OpenAI regarding inaccuracies in ChatGPT's generated information. They claim this breaches the EU's data protection rules stating that personal data should be accurate and rectifiable under the GDPR. According to Marcia de Graaf, a data protection lawyer at NOYB, false information, especially about individuals, can have serious consequences. Companies like OpenAI struggle to ensure their chatbots comply with EU law when processing personal data. The GDPR mandates data accuracy and grants individuals the right to rectify and access their data. OpenAI admits its inability to correct ChatGPT's inaccuracies or reveal its data sources due to ongoing research challenges. NOIB cites instances like a public figure receiving incorrect birth dates from ChatGPT to highlight the issue. Despite requests, OpenAI refused to rectify or erase the data, citing technical limitations. OpenAI claims it can filter certain data, but not without hindering ChatGPT's functionality. It also failed to adequately respond to access requests, breaching GDPR requirements. NOYB urges the Austrian Data Protection Authority to investigate OpenAI's data practices and enforce GDPR compliance, including rectifying inaccuracies and imposing fines. European privacy regulators have already taken notice, with actions taken by the Italian Data Protection Authority and the European Data Protection Board. Number six, Sanctuary's new humanoid robot that learns faster and costs less. Sanctuary AI, a Canadian company, may not be as famous as other humanoid robotics firms like Boston Dynamics or Agility, but it has been active in the field for a while. Recently, it unveiled the seventh version of its Phoenix line of robots. Unlike previous models that focused on incorporating legs, Sanctuary now emphasizes the upper body. Videos of the new robot showcase its human-like movements while handling tasks like sorting products, 
highlighting its agility and learning speed. While many discussions about humanoid robots often center on their appearance and mechanical abilities, the future lies in their intelligence. Experts predict it will take another five to 10 years before robots can learn tasks like humans. Nevertheless, today's robots, like Sanctuary's Phoenix, can quickly adapt to new tasks, sometimes in less than 24 hours. CEO Jordi Rose sees this advancement as a significant step towards artificial general intelligence. Though the effectiveness of these robots varies depending on the task, Sanctuary has already deployed earlier versions and secured deals with companies like Magna for their use in manufacturing. The latest 7th generation Phoenix robot, introduced a year after its predecessor, brings further improvements such as increased uptime, better motion range, lighter weight, and reduced costs. Number 7. UK attacks Amazon and Microsoft over AI partnerships with Mistral, Anthropic, and Inflection. The Competition and Markets Authority, CMA in the UK, is looking into whether partnerships and hiring practices involving Microsoft, Amazon, and three AI startups follow merger rules and could affect competition in the UK market. There are worries that close collaborations between major players in the tech industry, like Microsoft and Amazon, might prevent new companies from challenging them. While outright acquisitions would be closely watched by regulators, partnerships and investments could avoid such scrutiny. The CMA is already examining Microsoft's ties with OpenAI, including its recent acquisition of the team behind Inflection AI. Microsoft also launched a new AI hub in London led by a former Inflection and DeepMind scientist. Additionally, Microsoft invested in Maestral AI, a French startup specializing in foundational models. Amazon, on the other hand, recently invested $4 billion in Anthropic, another AI company. Both companies are cooperating with the CMA's inquiries, with Microsoft pledging full assistance. Amazon sees the CMA scrutiny as unusual, especially since its partnership with Anthropic doesn't grant it significant control over the company. The CMA's current phase involves seeking comments until May 9th, followed by a potential Phase 1 review engaging Microsoft and Amazon directly. This review must conclude within 40 days, after which the CMA will determine if the partnerships constitute a relevant merger. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.